Um, hey guys, it's me again, but the last video interrupted because I had enough save file on my 3DS. I'm using my 3DS to do some video recording. I know you can only record for 10 minutes, but that does suck. And YouTube has a uh, video where video guy where it can only allow videos to be 15 minutes long and anything longer than that they won't allow it and that's just really suckish but you know originally this was meant to be a one part video but unfortunately of what happened I'm going to have to make it into a two part anyways um, just letting you know anyways back to L1 games I gotta say I like your videos about Jack Thompson just all those videos you said about Jack it just shows him how much of a fool he is and then you made the one video saying Jack Thompson is sparred and you said I cannot manage to tell you how happy I am and I, I cannot just tell you how happy I was um, and to be honest I first heard about Jack Thompson after I finished my junior year in high school because you know I was uh, at home I was just reading a little randomly reading an article about video games on Wikipedia and then I came across the uh, controversies of video games. That's when I noticed about the uh, Columbine High School Massacre because they blamed Doom for it. And you know nowadays people all these school shootings that happen people want to blame video games for them and the school shootings that happened before video games some people will say, well, there's reasons why they had to be attacked. No, no, they, they weren't supposed to be attacked. People attack school shootings for fun. It's not video games. To me, it's what's in your soul, what your purpose, why you want to attack a school. And after the Columbine incident, people's been trying to pull off Columbine incidents. And not too long ago, some guy over in Florida attempted to pull off a Columbine incident at his school and he posted on Facebook and that's when people caught him so uh, to me it's I agree video games aren't to blame for society's problems they're not the cause we are the cause we've been the cause who picked up the gun who pulled the trigger it's the guy holding the gun guns don't kill people it's people who kill people but they use guns and weapons to kill people it's not the weapon's fault. It's the person using the weapon. And I agree. Video games, they don't cause violence. And I, and I do think it's stupid how people blame video games. And about that boy from Canada who ran away from home because he didn't like the way he was being treated. You know, his parents took away his Xbox 360 because he kept playing too much Call of Duty 4 and uh, he was failing in school. But, you know, that made him mad. He ran away. And to me, I would blame the parents on that because responsible parents would never let their children run away. And they would tell them why they don't want them to run away. And, you know, children did, do need to obey their parents. But unfortunately, these parents just didn't have enough sense to be good parents. Because they blamed, you know, they blamed the Xbox. They blamed Microsoft. And the saddest thing is, Microsoft did try to help. They posted a reward for who can ever find Brandon. Unfortunately, the parents were like, no, we don't want your help. This is all your fault. No, no, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. These people stop playing these video games. You know, gamers, gamers are smart. They know that video games are to blame. Because, you know, I've been playing violent games a lot. You know, I never caused violence. Gamers have been playing a lot of violent video games. Most gamers don't cause violence because it's a video game. It's not real. It's fiction. First game, violent game I've ever played was a first person shooting game. Like, well, mostly. And that particular game was GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64. And it was based off the James Bond movie, GoldenEye. And you know, my dad, it was originally his because him and my uncle used to play together. Um, it was rated T for teens, and, you know, but parents do need to strongly caution on T rating games. And you know, I was always accompanied by my dad when I played these games. When I played James Bond mostly, and you know, I liked James Bond. I only liked the multiplayer, and 
Gosh, I got so mad at him when we played multiplayer. He always used odd job. I hate that little shrimp. He's so short. He, I mean, you got a duck to shoot him. And, you know, the aiming controls are just hard. We're, we're the type of controls they were. It's just, oh, I hate odd job. Saddest thing is, it's not cheating because Rare allowed it. Because, you know, the makers of the game, they allowed that to happen. That's why I never used Jaws or... Anyway, you know, Jaws was a giant. And he was easy to shoot. He was an easy target. He was slow, too. Gosh, did I hate Odd Job? But anyways, ever since I played GoldenEye, I've been playing first-person shooting games like um, Call of Duty or Halo or... Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, uh, Bulletstorm, and Rogue Warrior, and all these other first-person shooting games. And, you know, I'm not really a Grand Theft Auto player, and I, I do believe you about Grand Theft Auto 4. You, you don't, you, you don't have to do things you don't want to do in the game. You don't have to kill innocent people. And, you know, I've seen some gameplays about it. You know, a lot of people just didn't like Grand Theft Auto because you get rewarded for killing cops. I really don't think so, because in most Grand Theft Auto games, you really don't... I, I don't know. I'm not really a Grand Theft Auto person. I have played the series before, but I just didn't like what you do in the game. I mean, the violence don't bother me. I'm used to violence. You know, the violence, the sex, that, that, that stuff don't really bother me. But neither do I enjoy it. But, uh, you know, I'm thinking about playing GTA 4 one day, and I do agree what you say about the parents in Grand Theft Auto. Parents have been buying these games for their children, and they're too lazy to even look at the rating pendant. And the child will just pick it up, show it to you. Oh, Mom, it's not that bad. You, you just shoot people. No, 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 no. You don't listen to your kid. You listen to what's on the back of the game. Parents, people just want to blame video games because they don't want to take responsibility. Other people blame video games because they're like, well, you know, he does have a point. The game is like, no. No, the, the game doesn't train you. To, video games don't train you for anything. You can't train on video games. It's Because, you know, when I was little, I used to play Mario Tennis a lot. And I thought that playing Mario Tennis could train you for tennis. No, no, no. No, training. And believe it or not, I do want to play tennis one day. And, unfortunately, no matter how it seems, I cannot play real tennis by training on Mario Tennis. Or Sega's Virtua Tennis. You're right. Playing video games doesn't train you for nothing. Because after, even though Jack Thompson was disbarred, he still was, he was still going to be a thorn in our sides after he sent a letter to the president. I would like to write a letter to the president. But I'm going to wait a while because I haven't heard anything about Jack's actions. I'm sure he's still going to try and... He's still trying to ban these games. And he's not doing it to help society. Because he can't take away anyone's rights. Rights can't be taken away. Because when they did write the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights, the Constitutions of the United States, nowhere did they say anyone could take others' rights away. But, you know, people just ignore that. They're like, well, no, that, that, that still don't mean effort. We can take other people's rights away. You know, people will want to sue restaurants for making them fat. No. If you eat so much at a restaurant and you get obese, that makes it your fault, not the restaurant. Restaurants aren't trying to make you obese. They're just trying to just give you food when you're hungry. But, you know, we just got to be careful what we eat. You know, all these violence, all the violence that's been happening because of these uh, video games, it's not the game's fault, but people just want to blame video games just to suit their own agendas and not to take responsibility. People just don't want to take responsibility. And parents, they'll just want to say, oh, look at this, this game, this game made my kid a killer. It's this game's fault. It's not my fault. Don't take, don't blame me. Don't take me to jail. I'm not a bad parent. I'm a good parent. No, no. Good parents, they will either not buy the game or they'll buy it, but accompany their children when they play it. So, a parent goes into a store. A kid wants to buy Grand Theft You know, their kid wants to buy Grand Theft Auto. And the parents have a choice. They can either don't buy the game and tell them why, or they could buy it, but they have to accompany.